Outdoors. My name's Jesse and today is kind of a rainy day. Last night we got, geez, I think uh, an inch and a half of rain. So <laughs> still pretty fogged in. So we got a later start, but uh, we're still gonna go out, drive around, see if we can't find a couple rough grouse. So this is day three of um, my trip up here in Northern Maine. So I've done the last two days, we've done a lot of grouse hunting. And if you guys wanna see those videos, I'll link them down below or up here so you can click on that to see the first few days. So we're about to head out into this beautiful landscape in search of some rough grouse. I'm hunting with my dad today, so we're gonna hop in and uh, go see what we find. So I'll see you guys in the pickup. Young, good eater. He's hiding out because it's moose season. <laughs> <laughs> this one didn't get the memo. Yeah. <laughs> no, he did not get the memo. <laughs> he almost. All right, so our major goal today is actually not to bird hunt. Uh, primarily, we're just getting out there to try to do some scouting for deer. And if we see some birds while we're out there, we'll take them. But being such a uh, rainy and cloudy day, unless that starts to clear off, we might not see that many birds, but uh, that's all right good opportunity to get out there, look for some deer for the upcoming season. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. Go get him. No, that's you. That's me. I'm not ready. I got a feeling. Good second shot. That was really close. <laughs> One more here. Yeah. Nice shot. I didn't think you were getting that one. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, we got the first bird and uh, we were just gonna stick to the road, but of course that failed right away. <laughs> <laughs> so I am completely soaked. Walking through this stuff after rain, it, it's, I'm telling you, it is not fun. Especially when it's so cold out. But hey, that, we got one in the truck, so we're not going to be skunked at this point. That was a nice wing shot. It was sitting right at his feet. Ended up getting it because it's a nice clearing. A lot of times with partridge, you don't always get a nice open shot like that. But when you do, it's fun to practice your wing shot. Uh, so we're going to hop back in. See if we can't find any more moose. That was kind of cool. Probably get a few birds along the way. So let's get back to it. I guess it's my turn now. Wait. Hmm? That's the two. Here. You can do is you can stand. I can't believe we got those two. They're like right there. Red phase. Oh geez, we're on our way to a limit here in no time. These guys are just coming out to eat. The rain's letting up, so they've been sitting in a tree all night and it's you know time to get up and feed. So we got three birds now. We're almost we almost filled one limit. Things are moving right now. We saw that moose and then plenty of partridge. So we're gonna continue down the road and hopefully fill our limit. It's funny. That's a road. We want to take that? I'd like to see it. It's I don't nice. think we'll see birds, but we might see some moose mm -hmm. and deer. See some birds. Yeah. This one goes back to the other entrance way well, just, uh, back toward Dave Wood's place here. Oh, it could. Yeah, it does. It goes back to Route 11. Yeah. Mile channel. Oh, yes, 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 What, what, what? That's yours, that's yours. Jeez, he's running. Rain's 
here's one thing. Rain and wind. Yeah, it's... Oh! He's right here, he's right here. You didn't go far. You got him. I saw him fall. Okay. First one missing, so I think it's, I just took the second one as a pot shot. I saw him. I can't believe it. Lucky. That was. Uh, he was just running. Yeah, he was running, dude. Two birds, one stop, twice in a row. Can't beat that. The reason we're picking up birds here, Jesse, you look, what do you see? Quaking aspen, <clears throat> white ash, thick softwood undergrowth, and a brook running right beside it. Perfect habitat for grouse. This is where you're always going to find them in northern Maine. Yeah, I don't believe I got that with second shot. Did he just shoot again? You get another one? Always look around. Probably went by three or four. This bird's huge here. That's a nice one. He's just sitting in the road? Yep. Trying to sneak away. That's so funny. I'm trying to get B roll. I hear you're shooting again. So that's uh that's your limit, isn't it? Well we'll check. So what do we got? 9.30 in the morning? One, two, three, four, five, six birds, Jess. It's pretty good. Rainy, windy day. We didn't think I we'd didn't do this well. I didn't think we were well. going to see that many. Got to get up and eat. They got to eat. It's awesome. I just finished saying that we're probably not going to see any birds on this road and we run into a flock of at least six, eight, probably more if we looked around. And he limited out in one stop. Started hunting at nine. It's probably 10, 11 now and we've already Fill the limit and a half so it's the hour and 20 minutes, hour and 20 minutes. 10 20. that's all it's been holy cow now let's get back out there i guess i'm up to bat and we'll finish it out here yeah that's, probably... that's all big fields yep. too nah, there we go. wait 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 oh there's two that is it for today i'll take the orange off because we are we're done um how long did that take Two hours. so today was a fun day i mean we did some scouting we saw a moose and just birds everywhere i mean we were flushing them left and right and right here i don't know they're still running around all over the place but Got what we came for. So I think what we'll do, it's it's not even 12 o'clock, it's like 11.05. I think we're gonna drive around, scout for some deer, and then we'll do a catch and cook. We can go to Fort Kent and get some groceries, and we could do like a, you wanna do a partridge sandwich or something? Oh, I could do a stew. How long would that take though? Yeah. I wanna do it outside. Let's head on out of here and get started on the catch and cook. our pond in the background we're gonna make a fire by here and just do a quick catch and cook recipe um, something that basically founded this channel the partridge sandwich first off we'll get going on that fire
So to me, hunting and fishing is not really about just going out to bag a particular species, but instead about the whole experience. From getting up early to going out not knowing what that day has to entail for you, whether you're going by yourself or sharing that experience with family and friends, hunting can help ground you to nature and gain respect for what ends up on your dinner table. Despite what a lot of people think in the comments section, I truly do care about these species and want to see them continue to thrive in the future. And getting more people to care and appreciate them through these videos or other means is one of the best ways to do that and ensure that they're going to have a future and not get overlooked when habitat is being destroyed. So there is our sandwich. We had a really successful outing. There's so many birds in the North Main Woods right now. You just have to get out there. And for those of you who are watching this past 2020, I, I don't know what it's going to be like next year. <laughs> when the numbers come high like that, it'll take a few years before they drop back yeah. down because now you have so many more nesting hens next year. Mm. You'll have five times as many as this year. So another good spring. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for the sandwich. I got to get more people to cook for me on my channel here. My hash club. Mm. I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's good, huh? You'd never know you're eating wild game here. No, it tastes like chicken. All right, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's catch and cook. Just a super simple recipe. It's absolutely delicious. Just a great treat for the day. If you guys haven't, I encourage you to go up to the North Main Woods and hunt because um, there are some incredible bird hunting to be had. Anyway, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe below. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next adventure. Cheers.